Saturday morning, March 30th. Great to see you as always. I'm Susan Hendricks and we start with that, our big story. Kaylee, thank you for that report. Coming up in just a few, our legal expert weighs in on what is next in this case, including what's going to happen to the other fifth grader involved in that fight and also the classmates that may have seen something. To Atlanta now, where it's... Polo Sandoval, thank you. Now about 18,000 people have gotten vaccinated since that outbreak began. This now, the Mueller report tops our political head. So do you need a break from the real world after a busy week? Well, why not head out for a walk in the park? To then 4,000 people have climbed Mount Everest, but the peak has never been climbed by an American-born, African-American man. Know the risks involved in this, but this has always been kind of part of you, who you are. I read that if someone says to you, you know, you shouldn't do that, you really couldn't do that, you say that's what you know you can. Yeah, exactly. And this, there's certain camps and levels. Mm -hmm. How do you train for something like this? Yes. Uh, is, is it that the weather can change at different peaks in terms of the oxygen level that you have and if you're able to make it up to the next camp? Yeah, so there's a lot of different factors, I think. This is high risk and also very expensive. Yeah. $65,000. Mm -hmm. You're going to climb in August, but you need to reach that goal. There's a GoFundMe page, and part of the proceeds go to charities. Yeah, yeah. So I've partnered with three amazing charities. A couple seconds left. If mm -hmm. there are people out there, maybe not Mount Everest, but they have kind of a fear of doing something, what's your advice to them? Yeah, I think just plan it and try it. Uh, put your you come back on you. after the climb? Definitely. After, looking right. forward to it. We're looking forward to it, too. We hope yeah. you raise that money. I know you I will. I definitely will. Jermaine, thank you. Oh, Pleasure yeah. to meet you. Pleasure to meet you as well. You make me want to do more. Maybe not Mount <laughs> Everest, but something more. Thanks again. Yeah, no problem. A fourth grade class in Pennsylvania had arguably the coolest substitute teacher ever to do. There that you go. That was my transition. I had, I had nothing else. <laughs> I like that. It feels like they're a dynasty. I mean, they are just they on really fire. Are, Close like games. Arguably the most talented team in the tournament. Tearing up when the coach was. I didn't pick them. They were out mm -hmm. early, but now I'm rooting for them. Yeah, absolutely. Love that coach. Boy, mm -hmm. thanks. You're welcome. A lot of people are wondering what is this on kind of repairing some deep-rooted issues that he has. And so some people are wondering if he's using that oxygen chamber to improve his mental health. And does it work? Medical actor ready. Good to see you. This oxygen chamber, what is it normally used for? Because Coy was talking about it earlier, being in the NFL, he has used it for healing. Yeah, and there are some FDA approved indicate he really feels and reaching out for help and saying uh, I need your prayers and this is how I'm feeling does this help with depression so the FDA does give us a warning that it has been superstar he's making hundreds of millions of dollars life is perfect and as we saw not but there are some risks so if people want to go out there and they can afford to buy this at home and sleep in it check first with the risks of this yeah, there are some risks. It can cause ears. Was I think of Michael Jackson when I saw this. Is that similar to what he was using as yeah, well? Yeah, apparently he used to use it as well. And again, I think he was so affected if it works for <laughs> you. It does work. Dr. Reddy, always a pleasure. Thanks. Thank you. Her back. We're talking about something very serious. Baby Shark, the song. <laughs> Some people are kind of tired of this song. We introduced Ivan to it. Now he's never going back. Yeah, yeah. a lot of people are, are getting sick of this kid's song. It's gone viral, but it is inescapable. It's everywhere. Baby Shark. <laughs> <laughs> this. Well, I, My son loves it. I'd never heard of it. I saw it this morning. It was a little, little scary for me, but that's okay. <laughs> we'll, get, we'll get used to it. Kind of remind me of the talent jumpies.